to the White House uh, continues this morning, but not before winding through Texas yesterday. Both presidential candidates here to cater to voters and the election is just 10 days away. Early voting here in Texas. It ends next Friday. Harris in Houston and Trump in Austin. He hung out with voters focusing on border security before recording an episode with the Joe Rogan podcast, delaying his arrival to a rally in Michigan. It started late last night around the time Harris was joined by Beyonce in Houston, honing in about reproductive rights, a big issue among women voters in a state where abortion is barely legal. Reproductive freedom is on the ballot in this presidential election. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A little bit of a disturbance during the rally. Our sister station KHOU caught protesters being escorted out of the building. They interrupted Harris's speech several times, making her stop and address what was happening. Some of them uh, wearing anti-abortion shirts. As we said, Trump spoke to the press about immigration and, quote, migrant crime in Austin before hanging out with Joe Rogan. He then sat down with him, a near three-hour discussion, touching on topics that uh, Rogan's <laughs> large male audience would support, uh, like eliminating the federal about, income tax and focusing this, more on tariffs. Take a listen. Play it because, uh, get... To me, the most beautiful word, and I've said this for the last couple of weeks, in the dictionary today, and any is the word tariff. It's more beautiful than love. It's more beautiful than anything. It's the most beautiful word. This country can become rich with the use, the proper use of tariffs. It'll Did keep you companies. just float out the idea of getting rid of yeah, getting rid of the income tax, the federal income tax. Rogan and Trump also talked about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Trump also repeating unsupported claims that the election was stolen from him in 2020. Trump will be in Madison Square Garden on Sunday. He's not expected to win New York. Harris not expected to win Texas either. But both candidates can help support contested state races. Senator Ted Cruz was with Trump yesterday in Austin. His challenger, Congressman Colin Allred, with Harris at her rally. Trump expected to help Republicans in New York when he visits. You can trust WFAA for all your election day coverage on November the 5th. Our coverage beginning at 9 a.m. on our streaming app WFAA Plus. Then our results show begins at 645 right before the polls close. You can tune into that coverage anytime that day or download WFAA Plus to your smart TV through Roku, Amazon Fire or Apple TV. Shift